When you make your own VBA code, you will often run into trouble. So you need some tools for troubleshooting or debugging, as they call it officially. I made a very simple macro or VBA code that changes the color of all the cells in the background of the sheet and it does so by setting the color to three components, red, green, and blue. If the red component is zero and the other one zero and zero, the background is black. If this one is 255, 255, 255, the background is white. And everything in between we will handle through the VBA code. This is the simple code I was talking about. We need three variables for the red, blue and green component. Then we loop first through the red component from 0 to 255 with a step of 25. Then the green component and finally the blue component. And within those three loops we set the interior of all the cells to the color RGB, red, green, blue, I, J, N. So that will run from 0 to 255. Then we store in cell A1 the red component, in C1 the blue component, and the, the green component in uh, cell E1. Then we change the font color of those cells to the opposite. For black will not be seen on black, so we do 255 minus I, 255, etc., etc., etc. Then we make a very simple do loop that says, give me a little time, a quarter of a second, to see that color, and then it does the next one and the next one, etc. So we need a timer property, which is the time in seconds since midnight, and then a quarter of a second later, we say that is my pause period, and then we do a loop until the timer is greater than F pause. The most important thing in there is the do events command. That means that it will do all this work of changing the colors, and it will do this looping with a do event. That means it yields execution to other options that need to be done. And then finally we ask the user, do you want to run this subroutine coloring again? So first let's find out how, what, how does that RGB work. A very important tool for you in, to find out that kind of things is view immediate window. In the immediate window you can ask all kinds of questions. You always ask with a question mark. Let's say, what is 1 divided by 3? To get an answer, you just enter. Then it says that is the end result. So I could use this for all my equations, my formulas, my functions, whatever you want. Let's do the RGB function based on 0, 0, 0 for red, green, and blue. And the answer is 0. Let's find out what it is for RGB, 255, 255, 255. What if I go past 255? This is how you can experiment. And it gives you the same number. It cannot go any farther than this long number, long integer. That's the immediate window. I'm going to close it. Then how, how do we test all of this? First of all, you need to know that when you are inside a sub, you can do things step by step. Or you can say, I want to get stopped at a certain line. I'm going to, in the gray margin, I'm going to put a breakpoint here by just clicking. You click on or off in the gray margin. If you do that and you run coloring, it will run to that line. I'm going to run it through the run button. And it stopped right there. And notice that RGB is now I, J, N. If, if you want to see the values of those at the same time, then I would go for view locals window. The locals window shows you what at this point 
all those settings are going to be. So if I do F8, step by step, it goes through all those settings, changes the font color, and then it goes into the timer, and it sets it to this long integer number with decimal points. And then we keep looping until the timer is that point. I'm going to close the breakpoint by clicking it off. And instead of doing things step by step, I would like to run this whole for loop until I reach 255. Because I want to know what happens at that point. How can you do that? With another debugging tool, view watch window. It pops up at the bottom and I'm going to add a watch there. Right click, add a watch. I'm going to say when n equals 255 I want to get alerted. But be careful, you may never reach 255 for we have a step 25. So if it starts at zero in steps of the, I will never get to 255. So I'm going to set it to 250. Break when that value is true. And I click on OK. And there is my watch window. Notice that the value is false at this moment. So now I can run a real run and it will stop at the moment that watch kicks in. It may take a little time. And it stopped at n equals 250. And that's where we are at this point. I, I don't have to tell you that you could also set J to 255. So I'm going to, to stop this watch, right click, delete the watch, and I add another watch. Add a watch, J equals 255. 250 actually. Break when that is true, and let's run. That, that may take a little longer just to show you that things are really working in the background. You will see here that it keeps running. So I'm going back here and wait until I reach that point. It keeps running the four n loops and it will stop when the j loop is at 255. Just to see how far we are, we have reached 255. And there is j equals 250. And n happens to be 275. But that never kicked in. I'm going to stop the debugger. Take that watch out. Delete the watch. And we are going to run the whole thing one more time in real life. I click on the run button. And we go here. And you will see it, it goes through the whole gamut or the whole spectrum of colors. And because I have a, a quarter of a second period for each loop, especially the inner loop, it takes quite a while before we really get cell A1 set to 25. At the moment that reaches 2 50 or 255 and all the others have reached 255 we should get a white background. I could check that with a watch again. I could set a watch on the, the outer loop that regulates the red component when that is 255. I'm, I'm going to stop this. I, I can keep switching back and forth because we have a do event here otherwise you could never do that. If you ever run into an endless loop, then we have a problem, of course, because you made a mistake. The solution is control break. And it will say code execution has been interrupted. And then you can go to debug or you can just end and fix the problem you had. But sometimes in order to fix the problem you had, you need some tools. And the tools I just mentioned to you are the most important ones, immediate window, locals window, and the watch windows. 
and then finally uh, one more here you can at any time you can say inside a loop I want to run to the end of that loop let me show you that one I run this one step by step click inside F8 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 and instead of looping this step by step I am going to say on the next J1 run to the cursor and now it's going to run until it reaches that point notice that n is now 275 and then it goes into the first j loop second j loop etc i'm stopping the debugger you need all these tricks in order to do your work especially when you make your own vba code there is always trouble so you probably need a lot more help so i developed for you two cd roms excel 2007 vba and one that will be released early 2014 is excel 2013 vba uh, this one is more up to date but if you have the older one it will cover all the issues that you could ever dream of also for 2013 and 2010 Part one is the basic essentials with all loops, variables, and that kind of things. Then part two is formulas and arrays, including variant arrays, customized arrays. And finally, how do you do buttons, forms, and more importing and exporting, creating user forms, creating class collections, error handling, and monitoring VBA with VBA. These two CDs have more than 1500 slides. They also have exercises in it and questions to test whether you received all the information that you need. You can find this at genesispc.com.